Hey, hey, what's your name, bro? Kalea. Kalea. My name is Yosef, right? You've been taught this book poorly, brother. And I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you for thinking the things that you think. However, you've been taught this book wrong. Give me uh, Psalm 69 and verse uh, 22 first. Bring Give me that real quick. Bring it up! Watch this. I'm going to show you something because this book is... Oh, I thought it was something else. This book is about you and your people, brother. That's but what happened was white people took this book and right. made you not believe in it no more. Bring so everything over. you associate with yeah, good, bring them over, bring them over. everything you associate with, pay attention, brother, pay attention, pay attention, listen, listen to me, brother. Everything you associate with good in this Bible, you associate with Caucasian bring people and right. not your own people. Right. Hold on, brother, hold on, brother. Listen to this real quick, read. Psalms, chapter 69, verse 22. Right. Let their table, let their what? Let their table become a snare. This Bible is your table. Yes. The Bible says let their table become a snare, meaning a trap. Meaning when our people look at this Bible, they don't see anything good or associating themselves with the Bible, right? right? Because when you think of the Bible and you think of the people of it, right. you see this. Right. That's why they safe in our neighborhoods. Cause you don't see no good about you in this right. Bible. Right. They, that's on purpose. God did that to us because we didn't do what the Bible said. Right. Read it again. Psalms chapter 69 verse 22 yeah. Let their table become a snare Let their table, let this Bible become a trap Read Before them, Before them. And that which should have been for their welfare that which what? What should have been for their welfare This Bible is supposed to be for you and your people's good That's Read right. Let it become a trap. Let it become a what? A trap. That's why our people don't believe in the Bible. That's why every time we come showing us this Bible, our people say things like, Christ not in there, not in the Old Testament. That's the white man's book. Or, I don't believe it. I'm religious, but I still got the Holy Ghost. Now, give me that in, uh, read, read. Let their eyes be darkened. Let their what? Let their eyes be darkened. Read. That they see not. Right, that they can't understand what this Bible is talking right. about. That's why we out here, bro. To teach you and show you what this Bible is really talking about. Give me that in Isaiah 30. That's right. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Bring it out! 22. Uh, not 30. Uh, 30 and 20. Get that real quick. What you seeing is a different breed of black man on the planet today, bro. You ain't your normal Christian day pastors. We go everywhere our people are in the heat of it when niggas get put to death and we teach this Bible. You've been shepherd their lives for our people out here on purpose because we love our brothers and we understand evil ass people taught you this Bible wrong because they understand when you start doing what this Bible say, God's coming back to kill a lot of people yeah. on your behalf, on your son's yeah. behalf, on your behalf, right. on your wife's behalf, yeah. on your people's behalf. Right. God's going to do that. Yeah. God ain't coming here on no teddy bears and hugs. He come here to put much people to death That's for right. your sake. Right. Right. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. Right. Right. And, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. The bread of adversity. You live in the projects, brother. Right. You subject to be killed by the police, brother. Right. Your son's subject to grow up without a father. Right. Your son's subject to go through the prison, school to prison pipeline. Right. God give you the bread of adversity because you broke his laws. Bring you it. these people, oh, the greatest right. people on the planet. The Bible says you're supposed to be a nation of kings and priests. We right. walk around calling ourselves, Shut up, what's up, my black king? What's up, my black queen? God said you that. That's why you feel that way. That's, right. That's why you feel like can't nobody touch you. Can't nobody do nothing better than you. Your son at 10 years old, looking like he running her hurdle over a bunch of people at 10 years old. He understand he better than everybody on the football field, yeah. on the basketball court, because he that damn great. That's right. The Bible says he that damn great. Right. Well, why don't we know that? Because Christian church pastors want your money. They don't want your soul. They want you to die out here. We ain't about your money. We ain't about none of that. We want you to live. We don't want you to die out here. We don't want your baby to die out here. Right. Read. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity right. and the water of affliction, Read. yet shall not thy teachers shall what? Shall not thy teachers Read. be removed into a corner anymore. Read. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. These your teachers, brother. That's why all these things we talking about in the Bible, right. our people ain't never heard before. Yeah. Because God said, your eyes will see your teachers That's this day. Right. Read. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee, Read. saying, this is the way. This is the way. Keep the commandments of God. Stop worshiping white man Jesus when the Bible says he looks like you and me. That's right. Stop walking down here whoring out our sisters. Marry that woman. Make her honorable. Take care of our babies. Right. Teach your son. He's a prince of God. Of the highest order. His hair. Tell our sons, stop dyeing your hair. To look like that white man. Keep your hair. Your hair looks like God's hair. Get that phone real quick. Yo, sir, ask, ask little man which one is Christ. Right, right, right. I'm going to show you. Who, which one is this Jesus? Oh, better, better question. Which, which one is you was told was Jesus? Right, right. You see that, bro? You see how crazy that is? Your son was taught that 
this white man was Jesus Christ. Right. Now let's see what Jesus and God looks like. Bring, right. it, right. out. Bring it out. The book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 1. Now I, want you to, now I want you to look at both of these two signs, young man. How was his name? Yael. Yael. I want you to look at both of these two signs. We read in the Bible. How do we know about Jesus? Yael. 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 How do we know about Jesus? What book talks about Jesus? The Bible. Now let's see what the Bible says about Jesus. Read. The revelation of Jesus Christ, read. which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. To what? To show unto his servants read. things which must shortly come to pass. Verse 13. Verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks. So in the midst of seven? Golden candlesticks, read. One like unto the Son of Man. Who, who the Bible call the Son of Man? Christ, Jesus Christ, so we all understand it. So the Bible says there was a man, one standing in the midst of seven candlesticks like unto the Son of Man, Jesus the Christ, so we can understand it. You with me, Yael? Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. And he had a body, because we hear Jesus is a spirit, like he's floating around heaven like Casper the Friendly Ghost, and he ain't got no damn body. No, he wore clothes, same like you wear clothes. Read. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. Read. His head. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You with me, Yael? Yael? Yael. Yael, my bad. I'm bad with names. Forgive me, brother. Try to turn my head and not my heart, right? I'm bad with names. Yael, right? Yael. Yael. Like, okay, good. Yael. God's power. I like that. I like that. I like that. I like that. Right? Read. His head and his hair. So his head and his hairs. Read. Were white like wool. Which one of these depicts that? Yael. That one, right? It said his hair, his head, and his hairs were white and like woolly textured like a sheep. What people got woolly afro sheep like hair? Yael, you tell me. What people have afro-like hair or woolly textured hair? Feel yours. That's woolly textured hair. That's what the Bible was talking about. Your dad has that hair. You have that hair. And everybody that looks like you, Yael, has that hair. That's what I'm trying to show y'all. Y'all greater than y'all ever thought y'all were. But the only thing that's going to determine that is you got to act like it. Keep reading. As white as snow. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Now we're looking at his feet. Now, your feet the same color as your body, right? As his mind, right? Read. Like a too fine brass, Read. as if they burn in a furnace. So, Yael, this is white, right? What happens if I burn that white paper in fire? What color is going to turn? Black. Right. The Bible says Christ's skin is as if, if it burned in a furnace. Make so, it flame, if you burn skin that's already brown, what color is it going to be? So, what color is Christ? That's what the Bible says. So how did we get this, Yael? How we learned that this was Jesus? Now let's get God. Get God now. Y'all are the only people on the planet that look like this, that have that type of power. That's why God calls you Israel, princes of the powers of God. Y'all not Negroes and niggas and real niggas and all this crazy, nah, what, what we call it, the ops and all this crazy stuff we call each other today? These God's baby, this God, that's God's son. That's God's baby, that's God's son. These God's sons. Yes.